Welcome to my YouTube channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. Today's agenda of this lecture is we will discuss about the loops in Terraform. We will use loops with count for underscore each and for loops. These are going to be used for launching AWS resources using Terraform. Now launch multiple EC2 instances using Terraform count. So first loop we will use the with count. The Terraform count is a meta argument determined by the Terraform language. The count can utilize it with modules and with all resource types. By default Terraform creates a single resource defined in the Terraform resource block. But at a times you can manage multiple objects of the same kind such as creation of three AWS EC2 instances of the same type in AWS cloud without writing a separate block for each instance. Earlier we were writing the separate block but without writing a separate block we can create multiple instances of the same type in AWS cloud. We will also create another resource that is AWS IAM user. So uh, three users basically we will create. This loop count is basically a, a basic loops meta argument. Uses a hard coded numbers or used uh, with length to loop over the number of variables in a list or map. So these are the example basically. You can either, either hard, hard code as well but better I would suggest that don't write a hard code. Okay. Uh, just count is equal to a uh, length and put the variable names over so whatever number of users or number of uh, uh, instances is available that will count it and variable list it will come in the total count okay i will show you in the example so let's understand how to use terraform count meta argument i will show the in also in a demonstration so this demonstration uh, will create a multiple aws ec2 instances using terraform count so let's create a terraform uh, configuration file that requires to create a multiple aws ec2 instances and users on the aws account okay so we will create a single file for that main.tf okay so let's start now so first we will create a directory over here mkdir count look okay let's go inside over there cd count look okay we have nothing over here so we will create a file main dot tf here we will write some code over here. okay so what i will do i will copy from the previous one that would be great okay so we'll save a time as well so better writing over here just copy the previous one go back to the main folder CD. so just we will copy this one from here and paste whether the writing over everything will take time so okay so copy from here and paste in our own file okay so this one I have pasted okay so now we will create one variable variable any name put any name custom underscore tag type is equal to list 
string okay and uh, default value we have to provide because we are using the list type variable so default default is equal to put the Jenkins then Ansible and Docker okay so variable we have completed now we will create a resource okay so resource AWS instance my instance for reference AMI was is required so we will get AMI from console so Amazon Linux machine we are using so this is the AMI so let's copy this one and paste over here right and instance type let's put hard code instance type is equal to t2 micro t2 micro we are using uh, so here that's why Okay. and now count count is equal to how many instance are there so we will check length so here it is showing three okay so what we will you we will use the variable so l e n g t h length and then var dot custom tags custom underscore tags okay so how many uh, I mean how many instances are there it will count it and will put over the value over here and what we will do we will also use the tags tags is equal to name is equal to instance hyphen dollar and then count dot sorry count dot index okay so what what will happen it will count it okay first one it will come over uh, uh, it will count it and the first this one will come and then this one and this one uh, you know very well list how it will count it will zero and then one and then two so that how it will display instance 0 instance 1 and instance 2 so three instances will be created okay so we'll close the first for tag and then the main one right so let's save it and execute okay so first we will initialize it terraform init some error is there types this is wrong so where it is let's check this one it is initializing now Yeah, so now Terraform apply. It will create three instances instance hyphen zero. So here it is showing now three to add 
instance hyphen zero, instance hyphen one, instance hyphen two. So let's check. Yeah, so apply completed. This was a three added. Let's check now in the AWS instance. So here it is. No, this is wrong. This name should be constance zero one. Okay, something is wrong. So let's go back. VI. This is the wrong. Yes, it should be this process. So that's why it is given the entire things they have written. It should be curly braces. Okay, so let's save it and Terraform apply. It will show the changes has been done changes not added here showing that uh, zero changes so I think it will be it will show three changes yes three to change okay so let's check now yes three changed and the name should be instance 0 instance 1 and instance 2 so three instances has been created okay now let's create another resource uh, aws i am users okay so let's just why this one terraform destroy and for that uh, um, uh, resource uh, we'll uh, create a variable for users okay Okay, three to destroy. So now create a variable for users. <coughs> okay, so variable user underscore name names type would be list type is equal to list string okay and the default is equal to user 1 user 2 user 3 okay so these variables is for the user names now we will create a resource resource aws underscore I am identify and access management so this user and USR put USR for my user put my user 
my users okay so now here we will also use the count is equal to length a length variable where dot usernames user underscore names okay and then name is equal to where dot whatever the value will come where dot user underscore names and then it will count it count dot index right uh, count aws i am user my users length where users name fine okay now apply it terraform apply l e n g t h oh sorry length spelling is wrong i don't know why i am doing mistake Six users, uh, I mean, six uh, resources will create. So, six to add, right? Three for the instances and uh, three for the user. Okay, so before doing uh, yes, let's check it. Is there anything? No, we don't have. Also, check the I am user. I am users okay so we have only two users Khan 1 and Amar Khan okay we don't have any user 1 user 2 and user 3 so we are going to create over here through code so we put yes right so six, six has been added resources so let's check now Re refresh it here it is user 1 user 2 and user 3 is created similarly for the ec2 instances we will check so all three has been created right so this is the way to create by using the uh, count loop okay so now we have completed the loops with count right now we will use the loops with for each for underscore each so in the previous example whatever the aws instances we have created all the instances contain the same attributes such as instance type ami but if we need to create a multiple instances with different attributes so we will use the different attributes such as one instance with t2 micro medium and the other instance with t2 micro and uh, t2 large blah 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 so for such situation we will use terraform for each loop okay in this situation if you want a different attributes then in this situation we will use terraform for each loop okay it is more advanced loop meta argument accepts multiple variables from a map or set of a string in place of number so this is the example of for each
okay so uh, different attributes t2 micro t2 large t2 medium so these are these are the example okay so let's start now so first we will uh, destroy this one terraform destroy right so we have nothing now Last, uh, okay i am um, even here we are taking nothing these all are removed right we don't have other users okay so we will create now so, using uh, four underscore each loop okay so go to the file main.tf and what we will do these are the not required okay we'll remove this one and this is the required ami is the same instance type we will not use and count we are not going to use so let's remove everything we are going to use for underscore each loop for underscore each okay is equal to so we have gen key okay is equal to uh, we'll assign t2 micro t2 dot micro okay. similarly we have other key ubuntu 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 key so we assign this t2 medium and we have another key red heart to large right close this one okay now instance type instance underscore type is equal to what we will do each dot dot value so for this the value is this okay so each dot value will put the value over here okay similarly for key name key underscore name is equal to each dot key so this these are nothing but a key okay so we have already generated the key the gen gen key ubuntu key and red heart okay so these value will come over here okay key name and uh, we can also put the tag over here tags is equal to name is equal to each dot key let's put the key with a tag with key name so that we can identify this is the jenkins server this is the ubuntu server then the red hat server okay so we will we can identify with that fine sorry close this one 
and we have closed this one right and these are not required we'll use a separate one so what happened it will create a three instances right so let's save it and we have destroyed everything so terraform apply yes We'll go on AWS console. You see two first. We have nothing over here. It is created now, probably. Let's check. Yes. So three has been added, right? So let's check. Yeah. So this is Jenkins, this is a Red Hat, and this is the Ubuntu okay and uh, the key name over here that this is this is now assigned t2 micro jenkin and uh, red heart is t2 large we have assigned and for ubuntu we have marked t2 media fine so we have created now three instances similarly we, we can use for the users as well okay so go to the file and uh, we'll use for the users as well Okay, so we'll create a variable user underscore names type is equal to set set string okay and default value is required default is equal to similarly we will create three let's put user x user y user set so three user i am going to create over here All right now resource is equal to sorry resource aws i a m underscore user my user so here we will use the for each okay, is equal to where dot user underscore name names okay and his name is equal to each value so it will put the each value okay hello user x user y and user z okay close now fine so let's save it and uh, three is already created so probably three one three more here uh, resource will create user x user y and user set yes terraform apply what is the issue okay so i think i have given the space so that's why this space is not required so that's why it 
is giving the error okay yes that is space is not required okay so three resources are now added and three is already created so what i will do i will destroy all and then create fresh one That's all destroyed. So we don't have anything over here now. And similarly, I am. So we have nothing. Okay. Only two users are there. Only two users. So let's apply now, Terraform apply. So six resources will be added. Here it is, six to add. Yes. Six is added, so let's check now. Refresh it. So user X, user Y, and user Z has been created. Let's check the EC2 instance as well. So three has been running. Right? Jenkins, Ubuntu, and Red Hat. Right, so now moving on to the next loop that is uh, for loop, right. Let's destroy first. So meanwhile, we are moving on to the for loop. Okay, so uh, launch multiple EC2 instances using Terraform for loop. So we can use the for loop as well to uh, create a multiple instances or launch the multiple instances right so what it is basically for loop constructs are a powerful way to reliably deploy multiple identical or similar resources with terraform so this is the example of the for loop okay so here what i will do i will just create a variable and uh, will print out the output to use the uh, for you to use the for loop okay so let's do now go to the terminal we have destroyed every sorry we have not destroyed it is asking to destroy
Okay, so now everything has been destroyed. We'll use the for loop. So for this, we don't require any instances. We'll just show the output only. Okay, so user variable let it be. Okay, so just change the username or let it be as it is. But I'll put the type list over here for for loop. Okay. list okay so user one user two and user three okay so this is not required so we'll just put the output over here output print underscore the underscore names okay what value we are going to use for loop value is equal to for name in where dot usernames this variable user underscore names and then put the name right so what it will show when you execute the terraform apply command it will show this user user 1 user 2 and user 3 so let's apply now save it first and then apply it will show like this the output yes so three uh, resources that has been added uh, for in ac2 instances and here i wanted to show you this one the print the name and this user one and user two user three so these are the uh, values that comes by using the for loop similarly you can create number of users with using the for loops so these are the loops concept in terraform so Terraform is basically a great open resource tool that provides easiest code and configuration file to work with it. So now that you know how to launch multiple EC2 instances, multiple user creation on AWS using Terraform count and Terraform for each and for loops on Amazon Web Service. So if you have any query, leave the message in the comment section. We will reply soon. We'll meet again with the new video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button, please.